back in channel side tech guru in this video i'll let you do the charging speed test comparison between the iq7 versus oneplus nord 2 versus realme gt device let's see which one will be able to charge faster and one quick note is that all the three phones are capable of charging within 30 minutes of time yes close to 30 minutes so let's see how much uh, difference can it be there between all of these three smartphones and this after the recent software update which i'm trying to do on this uh, two smartphones and still in the realme gt i did not receive any kind of update so that's uh, one thing which a lot of just confirming you all and is a small chart which are uh, prepared and in this test i'll try to record the timings for every 10 minutes 20 minutes and 30 minutes and full charge and meanwhile i'll try to write down the time as well how much time it actually takes to charge 50 percentage in each of the smartphones so in this way we'll be able to understand uh, which is kind of slightly faster so in terms of the charging speed capabilities the iq7 has got the 66 watts uh, charger 4400 mAh of battery capacity and OnePlus Nord 2 has got the 65 watt of rap charge which has got the 4500 mAh of battery capacity and uh, Realme GT which has got the 4500 mAh of battery capacity and 65 watt super dot charger so this is a super dot charger which i'm trying to use so let's see which phone will be able to charge faster and during this time i did keep the phone charging to 1% only at this moment yes all the three smartphones are completely 1% let me to turn on the phone and is the realme gt as well which is exactly 1% so one plus not to got switch off i'll need to turn on again and i'll try to keep it 1% so right like now as you can see friends it's exactly 1% of the battery in the one plus not to so all the three smartphones are completely 1% only 1% i did keep all the chargings so 1% and everything is 1% let's start the ch charging speed test and let's see which phone will be charging or uh, what kind of speed right right now all the phones are completely started with the charging speed exactly as you can see friends 1% right now the stopwatch is also started in all the phones you can clearly see here so again we'll be back after exactly 10 minutes of charging all the devices and let's see which phone will be charging what kind of uh, battery percentage and how much high temperatures the phone can actually reach as well in the beginning it's of close to only 28 degrees so which is kind of straight same like my room temperature nothing much huge difference only one plus not is slightly uh, higher little bit but not much so again we'll be back after 10 minutes of charging the phones so right now as you can see friends we're getting close to exactly 10 minutes of non stop charging the all the three smartphones so so let's see which phone has got what type of uh, charging ca capacity so we can actually see the iq7 starting speed exactly how much it got charge so exactly 10 minutes of time the iq7 charge to let's see how much 36 it's remaining 37 37% iq7 and 42% is the oneplus not 2 42 3742 and 45 37 42 and 45 these are the three charging differences as you can see right now the realme gt in the first race so which has got 45 percentage friends and what is happening there with the recent update the iq7 phone got a uh, slow charge yes so before it used to take i think within 11 minutes the phone used to get 50 percent charge before but after the recent update the charging speed slightly decreased maybe to maintain the temperatures i think so that's not bad because uh, now it's taking kind of close to 35 minutes only 5 minutes more than usual So 31 degrees, as you can see, it's pretty low. The temperature is in the one IQ sound wise at this moment. And my room temperature is 28.8 degrees, and one place not to 35.34 and 35 degrees, and 35.8 degrees other phones. So I will be back after some time. So right now as you can see it's been exactly 20 minutes of continuously charging and all the phones and with the IQ sound wise charged up to 70 percentage and the one place not to charge it to 80 percentage. 70 80 and uh, realme gt charger to 84 percentage you can see the difference in 20 minutes so 70 80 and 84 percentage so in terms of the 50 percent charging the iq7 charged within 40 14 minutes and one plus not to in 12 minutes and the realme gt in 11 minutes of time these are the timing speeds for the all the three smartphones to charge the 50 percent of the battery capacity and let's check the temperature so how much it is in the iq7 device remains around 33 degrees not bad and one plus not to remains 35 degrees 35 celsius and in the realme gt also 35 kind of celsius you can see so 33 and 35 and 35 so these are the temperatures celsius between all the three smartphones so again i'll be back after 30 minutes but i think within 30 minutes only these two phones may get charged so again i'll be back maybe exactly close to 19 and percentage in this way we will be able to discuss Right now we are getting close to exactly 28 minutes of time and exactly 28 minutes of time the Realme GT charger to 100 percentage and the OnePlus Nord 2 charger to 99 percentage and the iQOO 7 charger to 92 percentage. As you can see, 92 and 9 100 percent exactly charged even the OnePlus Nord 2 as well. 
you can see clearly right now and it will be gt also charged to 100 percentage exactly so both phones were completely charged to 100 percentage but the thing is that they do show, they do uh, show only charging symbol so they are not showing any kind of charged so they should be a charged symbol not the charging symbol still the both phones are showing only the charging so that is the reason friends let's see how much more time the both phones gonna take to uh, show charged so that's after i'm looking after let's see and i'll try to write down the readings as well what is going on and uh, 28 minutes and 28 minutes is both phones and after exactly 30 minutes of time the iq7 charger to 94 percentage 30 minutes 94 right minute to write down the readings 94 and the temperature is uh, kind of pretty close it's only 32 degrees not bad so right now as you can see it's exactly 34 minutes of time the iq7 device charged completely to the 100 percentage and realme gt also showed the charger symbol as you can see and where is the oneplus nord 2 still showing the charging symbol it's not showing charged it's showing only charged char charging symbol so usually after 100 percent gets filled we'll get the message saying that it's charged something like that which we got in the similarly in the realme gt so this much of time it has been taken so friends one thing is pretty clear that uh, the iq7 phone was able to charge completely 100 percentage in 34 minutes of time and it's completely charged not a uh, little bit but it's completely fully charged and whereas the realme gt charged to 34 34 uh, in 34 minutes fully charged and where is the oneplus not 2 still showing charging symbol so maybe it might take a little bit kind of more time maybe close to 10 minutes sometimes so i can be back after some time so finally friends uh, around 37 minutes of time i got the message in the oneplus not 2 saying that it charged clearly 37 minutes so usually it takes i think more 10 minutes than usual uh, to completely charge so this is how much time it actually taken let me need to write down the readings 37 minutes these are the complete timings for all the three smartphones in case if you want to know complete 100% fully charged these are statistics 34 minutes 37 minutes and 34 minutes in this all three smartphones iq7 oneplus not 2 and the realme gt device and thank you for watching this video friends and i'll see you in the next video until state of more updates in case if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section below meanwhile signing off bye